This is Nathan's Garage's uh, project, the Mutt. It's got 49 seconds. Let's hit it with a sniper bid real quick. I'm the highest bidder. Let's go. Four, three, two. Hey, I won it for 1,025 bucks. Came with a snipe bid at the very end. Wow. Went for way lower than I thought it would go. I'm pretty stoked. Guess we got ourselves a new project. I guess I'm gonna get in contact with him and see when I can pick this thing up. It is the next day now. I got in contact with Nathan and I am picking up the mutt today. So we're on our way out there to LA right now. We're gonna grab this thing, load it up, tow it home, see what it's all about. Just made it to LA. I'm out here with Nathan's garage. What's up, Nathan? Hey, <laughs> I'm tired. I think he's had better days. <laughs> but here's the mutt, dude. So stoked. Man, I'm so stoked on this thing. So if you guys haven't watched his build series, go check it out. He's got like 60 videos of him doing all the work on this thing. It's on a BMW chassis. A ton of work has been done with suspension and rear end and look, it's even wide body. But yeah, we'll see where it goes from here and I'm super stoked on it. So, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it and it'll live on. The mutt will live on. My pleasure. So I got the mutt loaded up on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it back there, but so stoked. It was really cool meeting Nathan and this build is going to be awesome. I can't wait to take it on. Uh, we're going to stop by Dane Thompson's house on the way home. He's a local LS expert. We'll uh, see what he has to say about this rig. It's just a bug. What is that supposed to mean? Get closer to it. Tell me it's just a bug. You have water? Oh no, I'm good. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> What would fit nice in this thing right here? Uh, 2JZ. <laughs> Those are too expensive now. Those are more expensive than LS's. He said, don't be an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> don't be an idiot. <laughs> swap it, dude. <laughs> That's so funny. What are you working with over here? Civic? Yeah. Oh, it's a Chevy, huh? We got. What in the world? Hand size for comparison. Jeez Louise, dude. So we go to Rocky Mountain Race Week in like less than 20 days. It's a seven day event, over a thousand miles on the street, and then there's four race days. You guys wanna check out his channel? It's Burn Down. Yes, sir. On the yeah, YouTubes. You He's got a little trailer too to go on the back. It's like an old motorcycle trailer. That yeah. thing is so sick. Yeah, That's, so this weekend I'm starting on that. <laughs> Always something. Yeah, dude, never ending. Two thousand eight Lexus IS three hundred and fifty. A little bit of an accident, so it was parked in front of somebody's house, and it got sideswiped by a drunk driver and got pushed into another car in the rear. So, the rear end's got just a little damage, but the front end right here is pretty tweaked. We're gonna go through and see what it's gonna take. Hopefully, it's just like a fender, a door, mirror, control arm, rim, fender liner, um, just some little stuff, and it'll be back on the road. I'm not sure exactly because I haven't got into it yet. It does drive, I, dro I drove it up onto the trailer after putting that spare tire on it. Inside of this thing is like really nice. Super clean. So this would be nice to have a little extra cash since I just picked up that bug project, the mutt, and super stoked on that thing. But let's go ahead and start ripping this thing apart. We'll make a list of everything you know it needs and then uh, see if we can get some of that stuff for the junkyard tomorrow. Okay, so it looks like this got pushed in a little bit, but this upper frame rail looks completely straight. Nothing weird to see there. I was worried about these hinges right here for the door, but none of this got damaged. This looks all good. I don't see any creasing. It's just a little mount right here for the bottom of the fender. But honestly, this is not bad. This looks like the only damage other than this lower control arm is bent. I don't know if any of this stuff's bent up here. I didn't time lapse the rear, but this was also hit. You see by that big mark on the bumper. I actually knocked the bumper out from the inside. And the crush bar right there is all crushed, that foam piece. Like I said, it was pushed in by about two inches, so I had to pull that out. I just did that with a toe strap and a rubber mallet. And we got it looking pretty good. This line is almost dang near perfect, and it closes good. That one's a little bit off, but not bad. Let me show you what it looks like. I got this looking decent enough. Uh, pulled it out like a ton, but the best part is, is it closes. So, got to run to pick apart and give everything. Hopefully they have most of the stuff I need. Here's the front lower control arm. Got ripped right there and it's totally just bent. Pulled out the strap, but it looks straight. I was kind of worried it was going to be bent. I'm going to replace that sensor. I'm going to replace a bunch of the stuff, but a pillar is super straight, super clean. I crawl up underneath this. All this looks super straight. Nothing looks tweaked at all, so I'm stoked on that. Got this all zip tied up. 
Yeah, so here's the, I've made a little list of the parts I need. I need a door, I need a mirror, a fender, a rim, control arm, bumper cover, from crush bar, inner fender, a brown Denso sensor, hood struts that they have, but that's not accident related, and uh, the rear bumper bracket. So we're gonna run over to pick apart and see if we can find all that stuff and we can get this thing back on the road and we can get some money to dump into the mutt because uh, this would be a good little flip, this little Lexus. It's pretty clean, only has 100,000 miles on it. And here's a shot of the interior. It is spotless. All right, we made it back from Pick Apart. We had to go to the Santa Fe Springs Pick Apart and we also had to go to the Stanton Pick Apart to get all the parts we needed. We got most of the parts we needed. We got a door here. Uh, it's not in perfect shape. That there's no door card on the other side of that and there's some other stuff missing off of it. But I have the whole donor door inside to take the parts off of. Uh, has a little tiny bend down here. That's the only damage on it that I'm aware of. Uh, it's the wrong color, so that's a bummer, so it's gonna have to be painted. But it is what it is. We got it for, we got it for a good price. Here is a fender. It is all perfect except for one tiny little shiner right there. Which I don't know if you guys could even tell, but I'll just throw some glaze over that and that should be good. And we got the bracket on the bottom as well. That goes for the, for the fender. Uh, it's white. It's the wrong color again. And then we have a silver mirror. So all mismatching colors. Nothing's right. So it is what it is. Here's the crush bumper, the foam piece for the back. Uh, yeah, it's pretty standard. And then two rims are the same style, like style of rim. Except for these are chrome and those are like gun metal. So I'll have to paint these. We actually did not find an IS350 uh, lower control arm. So this is off a of GS350 and it looks identical. I think it's identical. Here, let's go match it up. It looks like the pickup points are at the same spot. So I looked all over online when I was at the junkyard and I couldn't find any information about it not being the same or being the same, but it looked identical. So I think it is identical. We also stopped at some yard sales and we got some cool stuff. So I got some of the jack stands. I got those for a buck a piece. I got some vice grams, brand, brand name vice grips for a dollar piece, some C clamps, a couple Volkswagen hubcaps for a dollar or five dollars each or five dollars. It's 10 for a three, I think. I can't remember. Penny board for five, some T handles for a dollar, welding gloves and two bike racks. These were these are Thule bike racks. I got both of them for $10, so that's cool. This is the RX-7 experience, so I can imagine this hanging on someone's wall back in the 80s. It's pretty funny, I had to grab it. If you guys are new to the channel from Nathan's channel, what's up? Hope you guys stick around. We got lots of cool Volkswagens. But I just wanna say thanks, Nathan. I'm stoked on this project, and I'm stoked to be able to have something so unique. We're planning on putting something with a few more cylinders in it, so you guys can probably figure out what that is. And from that clip from Dane, you probably, probably know what I'm leaning towards right now. I gotta make room in my shop because I have the K truck in there. And a Lexus. Hopefully, I can get the Lexus out within the next day or so. Shuffle some stuff around the K truck and get this in there. Because this has a bunch of raw metal on it that can't get wet. Anyways, if you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.